Hello, and welcome to the People's Mental Stimulus Update. Today's topic, as you can see by the tangerine terrorist behind me, otherwise known as Donald Trump, our topic is about him, Donald Trump. And did you know that during President Donald Trump's uh, reign, shall we say, he blamed his vice president, Mike Pence, for not having the courage or foresight to protect our country and our Constitution, giving states chances to certify a correct set of facts, not the fraudulent or inaccurate ones they were previously asked to clarify. Yes, we're talking about the, the voter fraud as well as instruction as well as other topics. So this actually might be interesting to you. I hope I get a lot of uh, comments back on this one because that'd actually be pretty nice. I don't care whether they're from uh, Trump supporters or whether they're from Democrats or independents or from anyone. You're all welcome to comment on all the stuff I put. But I do not mind. And as is for often, that is actually not true. I mean, like I said, I mean, let me, let me reiterate. He was asked to basically uh, allow tell the states to certify the fraudulent and inaccurate voter fraud well, votes compared to the, the ones that are actually correct. And then it, they said in most play, cases, this is not true. Mike Pence did not have authority under the Constitution or the law to do anything more than what he'd done when he was the vice president. So Mike Pence did not overstep his authority because he only has a certain amount of authority. Pence's position is for that of a moderator. The VP is the one that leads the uh, process. He is the uh, presenter and nothing more. He has more authority. He has no more authority to undermine the will of the people. And that's what former President Trump was asking Congress to do. He was asking the Republicans to do, uh, to undermine the will of the people. Now, this happened on January 6th of this year during the insurrection, as you know. So basically, he was basically telling the Republicans to, you know, overthrow the election results and put him back in as a presidency. I mean, as we already all know this because he cried voter fraud before the vote, during the voting, after the voting, and he still lost. So basically, Donald Trump cost himself the election because he cried like a little baby. And even though he cried voter fraud after the, the votes were tallied up, and they did sit, clarify that it was the most secure voting process in American history to date, Trump, as you all know, you heard him going to Supreme Court and all these other courts trying to sue to, you know, get the election results thrown out and new ones recertified, and he failed multiple times. And it also, you also do know that, well, he wasn't during the presidency. He actually played a lot of golf, a very lot of golf. In fact, he played 308 rounds of golf during his four-year presidency. Now, you're asking me, well, what does that have to do with anything? Well, it does, from what, from what I've read up, it says that the president is not, is encouraged not to make any profit during his run as presidency. Well, during Trump's run of presidency, he actually cost the taxpayers $141 million because he had to have the, the Secret Service tow him around and they stayed in his hotel, and we got charged for that. They went onto the golf courses where he played golf, and we got charged for both the Secret Service that did not play, as well as Trump and his cronies that played. So basically, Trump has cost us $141 million. And yet, he's still thinking about opening his own form of social media. I mean, I had like... A, I think it was like three things to actually, I mean, he might call it one of three things. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it was one of these three things, which is going to be really funny. Is if he opens a social media, he can call it treason being. He can call it uh, Tootin with Putin or Putin on the Ritz. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. But I mean, if he called it any of those three things, it would be so hilarious. 
I really think it would be. But at least it, he cost us $141 million. And here he, he he's bragging about how he donated all of his $400,000 per year as president to charity. Really? Well, okay, that's like what? Uh, $1.6 million that you donated to charity? Well, you... Well, you raped the American people of $141 million? Oh, thank you, Trump. I mean, I'm not sure if you've actually heard about it, but some of there's actually a, uh, I think it's not it's not a wax figure. It might actually be a wax figure of Donald Trump that some museum actually had to remove and put into safekeeping because people walking by punching this wax, this wax figure of Donald Trump. They said that his... The face of this wax figure has so many fist indentations in it that they had to put it away for safekeeping. I think they should remelt it and make something new of it. That's just that's just my opinion because I am not a uh, Trumpy. I don't support Donald Trump in any way, shape, or form. No, I ever. Trump is so confused that he can't even make up his mind on which political party he belongs to. And I say this because he's been in multiple political parties. For instance, first he was a Republican of Manhattan in 1987. Then he switched to the Reform Party in 1989. Then became a Democrat in 2001. And then back to the Republican Party in 2009, where he stayed, basically. In fact, he has been... Uh, presidential candidate three times. His first time was in 2000. His second time was in 2016, which he succeeded and became president. And his third time, as you know, was in 2020, where he failed miserably. That's Trump for you, of course, you know. And to think Trump has been uh, basically accused of rape, sexual assault, sexual harassment, including non-consensual kissing and groping by at least 25 women since the 1970s. And I'm sure you've already heard about his supposable pageants where he would have underage girls in the back in the back getting dressed and how he'd walk back there and said, well, I can do this because I own this pageant. And I'm sorry, you don't walk in any female dressing room whether you own the pageant or not and take a peek. That's just not right. But Donald Trump doesn't see that way. He sees it. It's his way or the highway. Well, Donald Trump is now on the highway. And I'm sure you've heard about Marliago, where he lives, actually. They're in a COVID lockdown, thanks to Donald Trump. Isn't that nice, right? And we can't forget about his taxes that were, um, that he basically fought so hard to keep out of the district, the, the district prosecutor's hands. Well, they're now in his hands, as you know. And it makes me wonder what he's hiding in his taxes. I mean, he keeps saying that why he didn't pay a whole lot of taxes is because he kept taking a lot of a lot of losses and a lot of losses and a lot of losses. Well, I don't know about you, but is if, if you have a company and you're taking that many hard losses where you're paying very little in taxes, most likely chances are you're not going to have enough money to bounce back and keep afloat. I've been in a few companies there that way. They took a lot of hard hits. They were when they filed taxes, basically they didn't pay a whole lot. And within a year after that, they were they sank, they were closed. They got under. So I don't know how Trump is thinking that uh he's all good for the whole tax thing. And <laughs> we can't forget about how smart Trump is. I mean They say a wall is medieval. Well so is a wheel. A wheel is older than a wall. Although she does have a very nice figure. I've said that if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. You know? <laughs> Stop it. Oh, it's so weird. I went to an Ivy League school. I'm very highly educated. I know words. I have the best words. We now have a gun on every table. We're ready to start shooting. June of 1775, the Continental Congress created a unified army. Our army manned the air. It ran the ramparts. It took over the airports. The kidney has a very special place in the heart. It's an incredible thing. You know what uranium is, right? It's a thing called nuclear weapons and other things, like lots of 
things are done with uranium, including some bad things. And then I see the disinfectant, where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way? The failing New York Times by an anomalous, really an anomalous, gutless coward. You just look. This is the very definition of totalitarianism. Shield and shelter, criminal. Look, look, wait. They sacrifice every day for the furniture and future of their children. And let me begin by wishing you a beautiful look. You remember this? Do you remember? You came for, I mean, look, from wherever you came from. And you've really. Uh, put a big investment in our country. We appreciate it very much, Tim Apple. Mike Bolton, as you know, is in Russia. Mike Pound. Justice. Anthony. You know who I'm talking about. Dickinson. Hologic. And Sefa Hyde. $50 billion of very importantly, very important and a large amount of money. They can do as they want. They can do what they have to do. They know what they have to do. And we also can't forget about um, I mean, what he basically said about his daughter. I mean, you'll see that clip as well. And then, as you also notice in the audio clips I played you, he was talking about $50 billion. He was talking about it like it was a human, like it had a heart, a soul, a brain. It could think of its own. He was referring to money as people. Oh, it knows what it's going to do. This $50 million, it knows where it's going to go. Excuse me, Donald Trump, but you're an idiot. You don't talk to money like it's a sentient being because it's not. So, um, basically, that's that's my, my Trump conspiracy theory in a nutshell for you. If you guys enjoyed my uh, broadcast, please hit that like and subscribe button and turn notifications on to let me know that you want to hear my interesting theories because I'm this is my new change up. I'm actually, since I'm not doing stimulus anymore, unless I come up with another stimulus package, which I highly doubt. And uh, so I'm just throwing stuff out there, you know. I mean, my last update was about abortions. And on that topic, I'll actually... I'll do an update video on that one, just not this present time. But like I said, this is basically, like I said, all I had on Trump. There's, a, I know there's a whole lot more on Trump I could have brought out for you, but I didn't want to bore you guys. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening, and I'll broadcast again tomorrow, tomorrow or the next day when more relevant information comes available. Till then, have a wonderful night. Bye. Yeah. I got this feeling inside my bones. You win the club, just to party, and there I get paid a fee. It's Friday night.